So if you're watching this video, congratulations, you wanna be a realtor here in Ontario. And the first thing you gotta say is, what's wrong with you, man? Like in this time, like everybody's quitting. JK, uh, no, just kidding guys. Obviously it's a, it's a great time to get involved as becoming a salesperson because it is a trying time and there's gonna be a lot of people not willing to put in the work to succeed in this business, to succeed in this industry. And those of us with tenacity are, are gonna hustle through this and get our licenses and go out in the field and get that business, get that money. And this is obviously the first step. You're doing your research. You won't even wanna figure out, do you even wanna be a real estate agent? But obviously that's not this video. This video is how to become a real estate agent. So that being said guys, in Ontario, the only option we have right now it's Humber, so we're gonna go straight to the Humber College website. We used to have something called Aurea before, but they no longer provide their services. I believe their last registry was in April 2019. So it's way gone, way past. If any of your buddies told you do it through Aurea, they're lying to you. No, just just kidding. Uh, they're not lying to you, but <laughs> uh, it's not it's no longer a thing. First things first, and I, I have this on the screen right now, uh, but feel free, you can just go Google search Humber College real estate, uh, and this will come up. So your first step is your admission requirements and to start an application. So for the admission requirements, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to have a strong uh, understanding of English to be able to read and speak English fluently uh, because obviously there's gonna be, and speaking from experience, there's a ton of, ton of, ton of reading. Like it's insane the amount of, of stuff and information that's on there. So reading is gonna be obviously one of those things that's a must have requirement. You must have your full name. The applicants are gonna need their full legal name on their or yeah, on their RICO application, which is their insurance program. Uh, and then there's gonna $75 fee. Another requirement is you need to have a GED or um, a Canadian secondary school diploma or equivalent. So whatever that may mean all right so that being said if you don't they obviously they got some sort of test here that you could do um if you're coming from a different country or don't have an equivalent um yeah now um it's in cn's website but going through the course it makes us it goes through how applicants that apply who have a criminal history uh, may or may not be able to register with rico so do your due diligence on that and look into that more go into the rico website call rico and find out what exactly that may be or call humber and they might be able to better guide you but i do remember in course one specifically where they talk a lot about that so now we slide down there's essentially there's three phases to this phase one is a pre-registration phase that's like where the bulk of the studying will be once you complete these five courses with two simulation sessions and four exams you you go to the next step uh, we'll dig a little deeper into um, the five courses the five courses the first one would be the real estate essentials uh, and this comes with the two hour exam at the end so you first study the content of the course then you book the exam and I would say this is probably an easy beginner uh, course it's not too heavy on, on legality I, just, I believe module 2 kind of had a little bit about like land and different titles but for the most part it was pretty easy pretty straightforward to go through I believe I cleared out in about a month a month and a half just reading through all the slides then I used pass it to study for the exam and I wrote the exam first try was pretty easy not easy but the past kind of helped because the exam questions were very similar I made a video on past if you want to check that out the next course which that's what I'm on right now I'm actually prepping for my exam is a big course there's 20 modules in this course and modules are as small as 160 slides and their longest ones I believe is about 380 close to 300 slides which is insane so it's a lot of reading uh, that took a large portion of my time and I didn't have a schedule so I strongly recommend keeping a schedule um, and then course number three I heard is again, it's not as heavy. I believe that one has nine modules and again, another three hour exam. Then there's a, simu um, a simulation course. That one will be one week. So it'll be five days a week. It says 35 hours here. So I'm guessing eight hours and plus lunch, but it's five days a week. I believe they had options from Monday to Friday. I don't know how that will be for people who are working full time. I'm sure they have something around that, but that's gonna be one thing you gotta look for, look look into. Uh, number four will be the com commercial real estate transactions. And again, another three hour exam. I I haven't got that far yet, but also hearing from people, that one was also not that long. I believe it was like seven or eight modules as well. Then another simulation course, and then number five is a getting started course. Number five uh, is it's not an exam. I think it's just a quick little, you know, get you started and more information on how to look for a brokerage, how to register for recon, all that jazz. Um, that's pretty straightforward. The next step would be, you know, uh, registering with RICO, finding a brokerage. Uh, and then step number three would be your, your post uh, registration phase where you have to do a compliance course and, ele and then two elective courses. So it's pretty straightforward uh, when becoming a real realtor here in Ontario. And right now this is the only method is you're doing it through through Humber College. Uh, and next thing you may want to consider and know about is their fees. So uh, their fees their total fees for the pre-registration is going to cost you anywhere from 3500 um, 
plus their post registration fee is five thousand seven five hundred seventy dollars which will be a total cost of four thousand one hundred and sixty dollars now again this is an investment in yourself because right now the market's fire one deal could easily pay for all your fees so that's basically it right now if you want to register and become a salesperson here in ontario you have to go through the humber college course you have to complete each module again like i said uh pre pre-registration has five different courses you gotta do all five of those and write the four exams and the two simulation courses and then it, from that the gates are open once you do the pre-phase something that people can confu- get confused with once you're in the pre-phase you're basically a realtor like you, you can register with Rico, you can start participating transactions the post registration i believe you have to complete within a year or two um and that will be to to get fully onboarded and that's basically it, guys it's as simple as that you're gonna go through humber it's a hundred percent online course it's not like how oreo was they're not gonna send you textbooks everything's completed online they do a pdf option to so just download and it's it's pretty straightforward honestly my personal opinion so far going through the course i enjoy it it's pretty self-paced but the only challenge this will be is you have 24 months to complete it and it's completely self-paced so you have to be responsible and you have to keep yourself and hold yourself to standard and have study goals and study plans because it's very easy for you to get derailed and and just skip for a very long time but you only have the 24 months i've heard the fastest person completing this was not through me but it was actually a friend i was was talking to she heard that someone completed within four months for me it it i've already been registered for about a year and three months and i'm probably going to be finishing by june so to me for me it was a year and a half um and other people might take the full two years. Now, if you're watching this video and you know you plan to be more aggressive, I easily see you finishing in four to six months. It's pretty straightforward when you really get down and dirty and, and blow through it. Currently, my new study mod, my new study method is one module a day, so it's very easy for me to blow through the content as well. Uh, that being said, guys, if you have any other questions on what it takes or what you have to do to get involved, feel free to shoot a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram at Olimar Khan and shoot me a DM there. Until next time, folks, I'll see you on the next one.